Our top story at this hour, the Congress and the BJP have engaged in a war of words after BJP MP Kangana Ranaut, the actor turned politician, made a controversial statement on the three farm laws that were at the core of the farmers' protest in 2020. Ranaut has already been reprimanded once after earlier remarks on the farmers' protest, which led to a big controversy. Ranaut said that the farm laws that were rolled back by the BGP government in November of 2021 after a massive nationwide agitation should be brought back and the farmers themselves should demand it. The BJP has said that it condemns the statement and that it is her personal opinion. Tamam social media platforms par कंगना रनौत जी जो कि भाजपा की सांसद नेत्री हैं उनका एक बयान तीन कृषि कानूनों को लेकर जो कि पहले वापस लिए गए थे चल रहा है मैं बिल्कुल स्पष्टता से कहना चाहता हूं यह बयान कंगना रनौत जी का व्यक्तिगत बयान है एवं भारतीय जनता पार्टी की तरफ से ना कंगना रनौत जी ऐसा कोई बयान देने के लिए अधिकृत हैं और ना ही उनका बयान जो पार्टी की सोच है तीन कृषि कानूनों को लेकर उसको दर्शाता है इसलिए उस बयान का हम खंडन करते हैं लेटर ऑफ कोर्स कंगना रनौत क्लैरिफाइड अ स्टैंड एंड सेड दैट शी स्टैंड्स विद हर पार्टी ऑन द फॉर्म लॉस नमस्ते दोस्तों पिछले बीते कुछ दिनों में मीडिया ने मुझसे फार्मर्स लॉ पे कुछ सवाल किए और मैंने ये सुझाव दिया कि किसानों को फार्मर्स लॉ वापस लाने का प्रधानमंत्री जी से निवेदन करना चाहिए मेरी इस बात से बहुत सारे लोग निराश हैं और डिसअपॉइंटेड हैं जब फार्मर्स लॉ प्रपोज हुए थे तो हम बहुत सारे लोगों ने जो है उनका समर्थन किया था लेकिन बड़ी ही संवेदनशीलता से और सहानुभूति से हमारे माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने वो लॉज जो थे वापस ले लिए थे और ये हम सब कार्यकर्ताओं का कर्तव्य बनता है कि हम उनके शब्दों की गरिमा रखें मुझे ये बात भी ध्यान रखनी होगी कि मैं अब एक कलाकार नहीं भारतीय जनता पार्टी की कार्यकर्ता हूँ और मेरे ओपिनियंस अपने नहीं होने चाहिए वो पार्टी का स्टैंड होना चाहिए तो अगर मैंने अपने शब्दों से और अपनी सोच से किसी को डिसअपॉइंट किया है मुझे खेद रहेगा आई टेक माई वर्ड्स बैक थैंक यू all right this is not the first time and i hope this is the last time let me now go across to my colleague kabir nakvi who's joining us live uh, from the newsroom like i said kabir this is not the first time and i hope this is the last time she has said things which the party has regretted has asked her to take back her words particularly on the farm laws how do you look at it kabir considering the bjp is a cadre based party and this is unheard of and she is somebody who's already trained in how to approach and appear in front of the media so where is she making the mistakes it's not that yeah, she's a green right. horn I'm, I'm so that I'm, I'm not going to stick my neck out and say uh, where she's making that mistake particularly but like you know we were having that conversation in the newsroom it's a cadre based party something like this is being glared upon uh, she is usually very unapologetic about it so that message by the party high command has trickled down to her she has released this clarification uh, 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 video of sorts she says that i regret my views are uh, can't be personal anymore i'm a bjp member of parliament it has to be the views of the party um, this is not the first time you rightly pointed out just last month she compared the farm laws with the situation that prevailed in bangladesh uh, which we also and she said had it not been for the steps by the center um, a situation similar to bangladesh would have prevailed and she faced a national ire because of that as well and i think because of what gaurav bhatia said the national spokesperson for the bjp he kept on saying constantly that not only did the bharatiya janata party distance itself from her statement but also condemned it and made sure that she apologized on it as well gaurav bhatia had put out that remark on twitter as well and kangna renaud before issuing the clarification video which we just played out for the viewers she retweeted and you know quoted on um, gaurav bhatia's uh, social media post she said yes you're absolutely right uh, these are my personal opinions and views i think that got a hard hit on the knuckles and that's not all so the right now uh, her movie emergency is being reprimanded 
separated by the sensor board. Uh, there are various, uh, you know, steps between the cup and the lip on that front. This is not the first time it has happened. The Bangladesh, uh, you know, uh, comparison, this one right now, what we're looking at, that CISF personnel at the airport in Chandigarh that, you know, also uh, attacked Kangana Ranaut because she had made that drastic and costly comparison with the women's uh, uh, that were protesting at uh, the farm law venues, uh, the, the farmer protest sites. Um, one of them happened to be the CISF personnel's mother as well. She took that step. It puts the Bharti Janata Party in a catch-22 situation. And look at this. Uh, it also gives arsenal to the um, um, other opposition parties like the Amadi Party or the Congress Party. So Priya Srinath has already come out and you know issued a statement saying 750 farmers lost their lives. Uh, what are you even talking about? So yes, it does put the party in a catch-22 situation. Um, she was speaking to her, uh, you know, Mumbai. Um, beg your pardon, Mundi Voter Bank, and uh, uh, where she made this um, uh, alleged statement. Uh, we'll have to wait and find out as to how the Bharti Janata Party is going to react to it, but let's not make no bones about it. Aam Aadhi Party and the Congress Party are going to exploit this statement to its full potential at this point in time. But a clarification video, mm -hmm. that ha hasn't happened earlier. She's right. usually unapologetic about it. She's apologized this time around. Yeah, she's apologized, but the thing is that you can't keep apologizing. I mean, we know that she's got great lessons in history where she talks about Subhash Chandra Bose in the context of first prime minister. Then she speaks that how the women were sexually violated during the farm, uh, you know, uh, farmers protest. Then she compares the Bangladesh situation. She doesn't understand perhaps that it is her government who has given refuge to Sheikh Hasina because it is a geopolitical kind of an issue. So, you know, do you think that uh, apart from being everything else, I mean, she really needs lessons in how to come across as a politician because let's cut her some slack, Kabir Nakvi. She's an actor. She can handle the, you know, the media when it comes to her films. Yep. But somewhere I think she needs a lot of training because like you said, the BJP is Carter base. They are not going to tolerate this again and again. No, you're absolutely right. I think, uh, which is why the message came down from the top brass. She hasn't released a video and, you know, this soon, um, you know, so soon to uh, her comments on the heels of her comments and the controversy that is now, uh, you know, erupted around her, uh, around her statement. You're absolutely right. The community is divided. A lot of people are, you know, strong fans of uh, Kangana Ranaut as well. They say she's a self-made woman. She's come from nothing. Uh, she comes from a humble background and she's made her life up, um, uh, you know, a normal common citizen in Mandi becoming the superstar, uh, not a lot of films, uh, you know, working out for her recently, not a lot of directors that want to work with her. She wants to give a little twist to every movie that she's doing as well. She's heavily against nepotism as well. So inside the industry as well, the community is divided. The industry is divided on her fans and, uh, you know, people who are against her. But this is her first time around. But at the same time, you rightly pointed out, it's like three strikes already. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if the BJP is going to, you know, not bat an eyelid anymore.